verify the validity of the ISBN 10 and ISBN 13. What that means is that we have two forms of the International Standard Book Number. One is 10 digits and one is 13 digits. Usually the main difference between the 10 and the 13 digits is that there's a 978 in front of the 13 digit one. And then the last number is usually different uh, for reasons that I'll talk about in just a moment. So in the case of a 10 digit ISBN, we're going to be using weights of 10, 9, 8, 7, all the way down to 1. In the case of the 13 digit ISBN, we'll be using weights of 1 and 3. So the first one will get multiplied by 1, second one by 3, uh, all the way down to 1. Okay, so let's go through the 10 digit number first, which is the top one here. And I'm going to write this down vertically, and then we'll multiply them by the weights of 10, 9, 8, and so on. So 3, 9, 3, 8, 8, 0, 2, 0, 5, and 7 are going to get multiplied by 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So multiplying these, we get 30, 81, 24, 56, 48, uh, 0, 8, 0, 10, and 7. So adding these together, uh, using my calculator here, we have 264. And what we're looking for is that this number is divisible by 11. And when I divide it by 11, I get 24 with no remainder. So it is divisible by 11. So the first one is valid. Okay, to check the second ISBN, since we added a 9, a 7, and an 8 in front of it, that could very well change the check digit. Because again, what we're looking for is that it's divisible by a certain number. Uh, let's see what that is. Let's go through the 13 digit one using weights of 1 and 3. Uh, so we have 9, 7, 8. And then it's almost er, the same as the uh, 10 digit one again. It's just the last number that's different. So we have 3, 9, 3, 8, 8, 0, 2, 0, 5, and then a 2 is going to be needed to make this valid. Okay, so multiplying these by 1 and 3 all the way down. Okay, so multiplying these together, we get 9, 21, 8, 9, 9, 9, 8, 24, 0, 6, 0, 15, and 2. So adding these together on my calculator here. I get 120. And this time what we're looking for is that it's not divisible by 11, but actually divisible by 10. And this one is with no remainder. So this one is divisible by 10, which means that both of these ISBNs are valid.